I kept to the shadows as Walt and his pard jingled over to look at Belle. I had my new revolver cocked and ready in case they threatened her. But all they did was take her double derringer. There, you can keep that as a souvenir. After an unsuccessful search, Walt stood up and cursed. That dang kid was lying. She don't have the letter. Let's go find that kid. Belle woke up and she left. I hurried after her. Belle, wait, it's me, PK, I'm in disguise. Oh, PK, I'm so scared of what, what, oh, Walt. What can I do? Come with me, I know a safe place. I led her back up to Isaiah Coffin's photographic studio. PK, I am so sorry I tied you up and robbed you. When we got there, Belle went straight to sleep on the couch. I was tired too, but I thought I might have a problem at the recorder's office in my current disguise. So I found some smart clothes before I went to sleep behind the couch. I woke up to the sound of the door opening and the smell of coffee. Good grief, what is going on here? The couch above me creaked. Hello, sir. My name is Belle Dunn and I am sheltering here from three desperados. PK, are you here? I came up from behind the couch. Yes, I am here, but actually Whitlin Walt and his pards are after me. Whitlin Walt? I unfolded the handbill to show him. I am Isaiah Coffin and this is my shop. Miss Dunn, please find yourself some decent clothes in there. Belle emerged a short time later with her hands hidden in a fur muff. Miss Dunn, you look quite charming. When Belle pulled a pistol out of her muff, I thought my thorn had betrayed me again. Hands up, both of you! P.K., give me that letter.